IAA transaction. This sounds like a business that gets into a far more competitive area, a more pedestrian area where you may not have an edge. And there are some analysts, including a very smart fellow from Bank of America, that just says, look out, not what we signed up for, downgrade to neutral right when the deal was done. Right. Yeah. No CEO likes to see that reaction early days. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time with shareholders, including Bank of America uh, and other analysts, explaining the deal. The confusion on day one was hearing cars and yeah. thinking cyclicality. Exactly. And that's what I said on air. I said, I don't know. I've been in this car business. I'm not sure, especially with like the problems you're hearing with the Carvanas and stuff. No question. This is an incredible slice of the car industry called salvage cars. It is completely countercyclical. In fact, this is how it works. A car goes into a body shop. It gets assessed for the cost of the repair. Let's say the body shop says this is going to be $15,000. If the used car pricing is high, the car will get repaired. Right. As the used car pricing falls, the car is deemed a total loss, and it goes to one of right, two Right, a total players. car. My daughter had a total car. I couldn't figure out what the heck happened to it. Right. Did it go to Richie? Probably, it, probably it went get, to It IA. went to either IAA or it's one and only one other competitor. It is a duopoly of a completely counter-cyclical business, generating incredible margins and a 12.8% CAGR growth over a decade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.